The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. What a fantastic show we have today for our audience, Lewis. It is uh, the first show of June, and of course, we're giving away T-shirts because it is getting very, very hot with membership, davidpakman.com slash summer13. I'm worried about the story I'm going to tell, and I'm worried I'm going to be accused of some kind of animal cruelty because of the way it all came together, but I really had only the best intentions. Over the weekend, it was pretty hot, and I decided to take my bike out, Lewis. Uh, decided to do like about a 12, 13 mile ride. And I was getting close to the kind of halfway point, the turnaround point. Okay. And I was kind of, you know, just uh, in the zone biking. And all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I see a squirrel run right next to the bike path that I was on. And I actually thought to myself, whoa, that was, that was weird. That thing was moving so quick. If it ran out in front of me, like I wonder if I'd actually be able to avoid it. I really wouldn't want to run over a squirrel, you know, I, and, I, and they just move so fast. I wonder if I'd be able to get out of the way of it if instead of moving away from the path, it went onto the path. Half mile later, I mean, this is just, just incredible that I, that I actually thought of this. Half mile later, I'm coming up. I'm on the right side of the bike path the way, the way I should be. And I see a chipmunk kind of walk from the, the grass off the right side of the bike path and kind of start to drift onto the edge of the bike path. And as I start approaching, it continues drifting kind of into my path. So as I get closer, I say, okay, I either have to go off the bike path to the right to try to avoid it, but it came from that side. So thinking the animal's instinct might be to return to the side it came from, I decided I'm going to start veering off to the left and kind of into the middle of the bike path. And then I can, it keeps coming out as I get closer and I continue to move to the left to the point where I'm actually in the, in the oncoming lane of the bike path. And at the last minute, I decide this thing's, this thing's just getting in my way. I try to revert back to the right side and I ran the thing over. I mean, I, I ran over a chipmunk and, um, it's just when you run, I've accidentally run over like a squirrel with my car and you don't really feel it in the same way. But when you have your hands on those handlebars and you run over a chipmunk, you feel it, you know, you know, and instantly I turned around and it was gone. So. I don't want to say that I didn't kill it because it may have just run off in a shocked state. I'm hoping I ran over, I don't know, just some non-vital part of it or something, but I'm worried that I accidentally killed the chipmunk. A half mile after I said, I really hope I don't run anything over, I, I wonder if I'd have the reflexes to avoid it. You, prob you probably killed it. You think so? Yeah. You don't seem to care. You think that this is funny, I know. No, I don't think it's funny. It's just, you know, there's nothing you can really do. When you're riding your bike, well, what, what can you do? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, there's a chance that even if you do have incredible reflexes and turn to avoid it, well, what if it makes the decision to turn in the direction you're going? Right. You know, there's yeah. just really nothing. Which is do. exactly what happened. Yeah, it started yeah. drifting, drifting, drifting. And at the moment I tried to switch back, it tried to run back and, and that was it. Later, you know, I went a couple miles past that and came ba back past the same point. Mm -hmm. It still wasn't on the road and it wasn't off to the side. So hopefully it survived. You have to learn how to jump your bike. Yeah, well, I don't really know how to do that. Anyway, it was a disturbing incident and I hope it doesn't happen again.